Hi, this is Jason. Today I'm going to show you a couple techniques that are key to learning how to manipulate your data within Clipfolio. Those are grouping, filtering, and sorting. Here's the clip we're looking to build. It's called Revenue Booked, and it shows the total revenue numbers for both of the years that we have in our data set. So we're going to start by adding the clip, choosing Build Custom Clip, and then we're going to select the table component. Then we're going to use an existing data source from the library. And we're going to go to Example Sales Booked, which you can find in your trial count if you want to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is change our first column to show the year, which is column B. So we just click on the column header. And then we're going to change the second column to show revenue, column S. Then we're going to go ahead and delete the last two columns by right-clicking on the column and selecting Delete. Then I'm just going to go to the Properties tab and change the Revenue column to be formatted as a currency. Now, as you can see, our first column is showing every year as a separate entry. And this is where grouping comes in handy. If we choose Group Repeating Labels on our first column, it's going to, by default, sum all of the entries by year. And this is what we want. Now there's several different spots that you can find the ability to group. First of all, if you click on the column in the component tree and click on the three little dots, you'll see that there's the ability to group there. If I right click on the column itself, you'll see I can also group from here. And finally, the last way to do it, which is the way we're gonna do it, is scrolling down to the properties tab and selecting group repeating labels checkbox. Now we could actually change the aggregation method if we wanted to. Right now it's defaulting to summing the numbers, which is what we want. But if we did want to change that, we would just click on the revenue column, go to the properties tab and scroll down to aggregation method. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna filter our first column to get rid of the column header, which is year. If we right click on that column and we choose filter, you'll see that we can actually deselect year. Now, that's not exactly what we want to do, just because if this is a dynamic data source and we get a new year in the future, it won't actually be included in our data because this filter is only filtering to include 2014 and 2015. So instead, a better way is to deselect 2014 and 2015, select year, and then click exclude. And then when we filter, you can see that the column header has been removed. Finally, I'm going to show you how to sort this data. In the example I showed you at the beginning, 2015 was the first year. So we're going to right click on our first column. We're going to go down to sort. And then we're going to choose the opposite sorting to what it was defaulted on. And as you can see, that puts 2015 at the top. And the last thing we're going to do to complete this demo is just change the column headers. The first one's going to read year, and the second one is going to be revenue. Finally, we're going to give our clip a title, revenue booked. And we're going to click save, name our clip, and click finished. And that's our quick demo on how to group, filter, and sort data. In the next video, I'm going to continue this example and introduce a concept called hidden data. Thanks for listening and happy dashboarding.